Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was starting to get a little bit worried that Kanye had forgotten about Vultures 2 completely, but we did finally get some signs of life that suggest there's still a very good chance this album drops by the end of Friday. I love Leaky! Starting things off, yesterday morning, we got the debut of an alternate music video for the song Talking featuring North and James Blake from Vultures 1. Don't try to test me, it's gonna get messy, it's gonna get messy, just, just bless me, bless me, it's your bestie, Miss, Miss Westy, just tryna bless me. Now, I'm sure everyone is familiar with the iconic original video, which was dropped a few days prior to the album's release back in February, but this alternate video is actually what we thought the original was going to be. A couple days prior to the original talking video dropping, we got leaked pictures on January 31st of North, Kanye, and Ty at a warehouse doing video shoots where North was seen wearing Vulture's merch that sported an early unfinished tracklist. We were of course super hyped by this because that early tracklist included songs like Time Moving Slow, Promotion, Love Love Love, River, Gun to My Head, Take Off Your Dress, and Dead, all of which would eventually be shifted off of Vultures 1 and into consideration for Vultures 2. So basically it seems they first filmed scenes for this alternate video directed by North and then later did more shoots for what was official released as the music video for Talking before dropping Vultures 1. While it's super cool to see North direct her own music video, the real importance of this event yesterday came from Oss Taylor posting on his Instagram about it. Oss put up a screenshot from the video with the caption, North Director Debut Out Now, Vultures 2 En Route, which is actually massive to hear. Prior to this, we saw Joy Boy post a black background to his Instagram story saying loading, and then he later reposted Oss Taylor's initial post that declared declared Vultures 2 is on the way. Now we've got both Oz Taylor and Joy Boy confidently saying this album is coming very soon, which could mean there's still hope of a May 3rd Friday drop, even though an LP has not been announced. Truthfully, if we make it all the way through tomorrow with no listening party announcement, then it's basically guaranteed there won't be a big arena or stadium level type show to debut Vultures 2. However, Kanye does have some other their options. He could very easily just pull up to Yeezy Melrose and host another private LP like he did back in March before surprise dropping the album either on streaming or Yeezy.com. In fact, I actually am very confident that this is his plan as of right now, to sort of play it cool the entire week and then on Friday surprise everyone and drop Vultures 2 completely finished since now we know the album is being worked on with a May 3rd drop date in mind. Doing things without promotion is something Kanye's been practicing lately, with him dropping the Like That remix basically out of nowhere on his website, which I could very well see happening to Vultures too. We still aren't 100% sure if Kanye intends to put the album on streaming services, but it's at least guaranteed to be uploaded to Yeezy.com and his YouTube channel, so it's not like even if he shies away from DSPs, he doesn't have a method to drop. And based on on how he released like that, I think we're in for a similar situation with Vultures 2. Of course, this could be complete copium, but now we've heard from Kanye himself that he wants to drop on May 3rd, and we have both Joy Boy and Oz Taylor reaffirming and backing up that drop date, saying Vultures 2 is coming soon, so really, I think it's not completely over just yet.
In other news, we got some more wonderful info from Lewitt that reveals the hooligans have yet another placement on Vultures 2. According to Lewitt, newer versions of River feature the hooligans laid over vocals from both Ty Dolla Sign and Charlie Wilson that serve to bolster the song's outro. In fact, apparently, the hooligans were present on the version of River played on March 9th at the private Yeezy LP, which nobody noticed until now. I know that shit. We know that shit. Yeah. Along with this, we also saw Kendrick Lamar surprise drop his Drake diss track, and while it's absolutely fire, we also learned that Drake is the real reason Kanye's Like That remix was taken off of YouTube. He was signed to that nigga, try cease and desist on a like that record, oh what, you ain't like that record? Back to back, I like that record, I'ma get back to that for the record, why would I call around sh According to Kendrick, Drake tried to file a cease and desist against Kanye for his like that remix, which is just absolutely hilarious and shows how petty Drake really is. Luckily, the ball is basically in Drake's court now, so all we have to do as fans is wait patiently to see if he is going to step up to the plate and take this insane rap beef to the next level. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you think today is the day we get some official announcements about Vultures 2 from Kanye.